action. Introducing the all new Jeep Wrangler with its raw, rugged, utilitarianistic design featuring heated leather seats. Wait, heated leather seats? Is that what we're going with here? Yes. Yeah? Oh, okay. Featuring heated leather seats, a seven inch touchscreen display. Seven inch touchscreen. Guys, really? This doesn't sound very rugged or raw. Just read it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. A seven inch touchscreen display and a heated steering wheel. <laughs> Guys, what are we doing here? Trying to sell these things to soccer moms as daily drivers? Hi guys, welcome back to Montana Off-Road. My name is Adam, and all jokes aside, the new Jeep Wrangler is a super capable vehicle with a lot more features and creature comforts than my current Jeep TJ here. But today, I'm gonna to be telling you why I still won't be trading up for the new Jeep Wrangler and why maybe you shouldn't either. Now, number one, and the biggest one for me definitely has to be the simplicity of the design. Now, Jeep has definitely transitioned from being that old school, utilitarian, rugged type design to now broadening itself into the larger market by giving it a lower luxury feel, allowing them to capture more of that market share of that everyday daily driver. So you're gonna get a lot more features. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable, more likely, than the older Jeep Wranglers, but with that it poses his own issues as well. So as a result, of adding all of those extra creature comforts as far as the heated steering wheel and the seven inch touchscreen display is adding a lot of price to the vehicle itself that maybe you're not necessarily looking for. An older Jeep TJ like this is just gonna have the basic of the basic when it comes to features, but with that, you're not paying $60,000 for your vehicle that you really, the main purpose of it is gonna be a decent daily driver but also being very capable off-road. So if that sounds like you, rather than having all of these extra creature comforts, then maybe an older Jeep is something worth considering. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever I have an issue with my Jeep, rather than taking it into a shop, I prefer to work on it as much as I can because I'd rather spend the hours than the money. Uh, and I really do like working on my Jeep. Whereas the new Jeeps these days just don't really give you the same ability to do so with all those computer systems and electrical and the way the engine bay is designed, it's just so much harder. And I feel like it's almost designed so that you have to take it to a shop if you do have any issues. So to go along with that simplicity, I really do like how this Jeep Wrangler's design versus the new ones to be able to work on much easier. Not to mention that the 4.0 inline six engine that comes optioned with the Jeep TJs is basically bulletproof. You can get multiple hundreds of thousands of miles out of this Jeep. So if you see one that's got 150,000 miles on it, that's just basically getting broken in at that point. So you don't really have to worry as much about a Jeep dying at 150,000 miles if it's got that 4.0 engine in it. As long as it's been maintenance and you continue to maintenance that engine, you're gonna get a lot more life out of that Jeep. Another reason why I won't be trading up for the newer model is just the sentiment and nostalgia that goes along with owning a Jeep TJ. I still remember being 13 years old, sitting in an Applebee's eating some boneless barbecue wings when I look out the window and I see a Jeep TJ lifted, red, super cool looking. It's what got me hooked on Jeeps to begin with. Ever since then, I haven't been able to stop thinking about them. And just the fact that I own one now, so many years later, it's just got a, a certain sentimental value to me. And this Jeep is worth way more to me than it is to anybody else, which is why I won't be selling it to get the newer model. So for those of you new to the channel, this is my Jeep Wrangler TJ. It's a 1999 four liter inline six. And another reason that I'm not gonna sell this Jeep TJ to get a JL or a newer Jeep is because I actually like the look of this Jeep TJ better than the new Jeeps. Now that might have something to go along with that sentiment and the nostalgia that comes along with this Jeep, but personally, I do like the way that this looks better. Now nothing against the new JLs or the JKs, but as far as the style, I think for $60,000, I'd rather have something that I like more than, than my current Jeep, and that's just not the case with this one. I love the look of this Jeep, like I said, could be nostalgia, could be sentiment, but I will not sell it for the new JL 
based off of the look. Now, I'm not saying that I'm never gonna buy another Jeep because chances are I'm going to, but it's gonna be an addition to the Jeep that I have now. When this thing needs a new motor or anything else, I'm just gonna buy it for it. And I'm just gonna keep this thing for the rest of my life because it's worth a lot more to me than it is to anybody else. Now, once again, guys, I'm really not knocking on the new JL or JK. What I'm doing is suggesting that you might wanna think about whether those features are really worth it for you, whether the steering wheel being heated, the heated seats, the air suspension, whether that's something that really resonates with you and a feature that you want. If not, maybe you should go with an older model, but if it is, great, go buy a JL, go buy a JK, because if those are worth it to you, if it's worth paying the extra money, then do it. I just personally like the features of my Jeep. I don't need all the extra features that come along with the JL, so I'm gonna be sticking with my TJ. In conclusion, the reasons I'm not gonna be purchasing a JL or a JK over my current TJ I have now is for one, the sentimental value and the nostalgia that comes along with owning a TJ. Now that's gonna be a personal thing uh, that might not be the same for you, but number two is the fact that I don't need all those other features that come along with the JL and the JK. Now, some of those off-roading features are pretty dang cool, but as far as all of the fluff with all of the luxury features that uh, Jeep is currently putting in their products, it's just not something I need. So I'm not gonna pay that extra money to get things that I don't want. And number three, the fact that I like the look of my TJ better than the JKs and the JLs. So I'm not gonna pay a bunch of money for something that I'm not gonna like the look of as much as I do currently. So I hope you guys took something away from this. I hope it got you thinking. If you do end up wanting to buy a JK or JL, that's great. I just want you to be informed and think about what you wanna do before you do it. But thanks for watching guys. Like the video if you like it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more, but I'll see you in the next one.